I got something new in the post. That is a very portable guitar. <laughs> portable digital guitar with real steel strings. 15 standard size frets, 17 inches long when disassembled, can be used as a MIDI controller, adjustable tension steel strings, that's clever, onboard guitar tones and effects, and then audio jacks. Jammy. This is, whoa, look at this. What? Those are real strings. Okay, I mustn't geek out too soon. I've got all the parts, I've got the instructions. See if I can put it together. Part one, part two. I mean, that's that. <laughs> okay, that was super quick to put together. Look how insane this thing looks. What else is in the bag? Little carry cases for each part. Guitar strap, useful. Cable. Probably need the cable for this one. So I better plug this in and see what it can do. How cute. How cute is that? Okay, one thing I don't really believe is that this can be put through an amplifier. I just don't believe this is gonna work. No. Okay, this is now running through oop, a little amplifier. Um, I just wanted to test out, be quiet, the app as well. Oh my God. Wait, this app is cool. Standard tuning. So I can change the tuning, okay. Drop D. This is already an incredible tool in terms of guitar tunings. Like, there is no way that I would have the right string gauges on any of my actual guitars to be able to experiment with all these different tunings. Like, this is drop A. That saves me a lot of money. <laughs> I don't have to get my guitar set up and I can just experiment and play. So in my honest opinion, it isn't perfect. It doesn't have the same touch as a guitar. It's almost there, but there are some things that you would naturally do on the guitar that just wouldn't work on this. And that's okay because it's not trying to be a guitar and they are very adamant about that. It's not trying to replace guitar. My other thing would be to have some fret markers on the top, but obviously you can just do that yourself really, really easily. But maybe in the next incarnation, um, they might, include some inlays there. No, I'll put it in, drop D. Okay, this is cool. What else, metronome? Oh, that's useful. I want to see if this works too. I sort of, I've gone into this not really believing that it works well and luckily I've been proven wrong so far. Far! Whoa, okay. <laughs> I mean that works. That works, that definitely works. I'm not even, I'm not even on the app. So if I go on the app. Connect Jammy. Connecting Jammy. Jammy connected. It's completely wireless now, not hooked up charging, and I can just plug headphones in. And I don't think I even need the app, it's just onboard audio. So that's pretty handy. I wasn't expecting to enjoy it. I was skeptical, I was being skeptical. You might be able to see here, there is a little red light. When this is red, the battery is charging. When it's green, the battery is 100% charged.
So that noise is just coming out of my laptop. If you're like me and you prefer guitar over playing keyboards because you're a guitarist, this as a MIDI controller is pretty cool. I've never felt comfortable playing MIDI controllers because like, I have no idea what's going on. Whereas with a guitar, I feel comfortable. I know where the intervals are. I know chords. Like I have a far better knowledge. So I genuinely think I'm going to use this. I have been thinking about doing a really, really lo-fi album, guitar and just like, just sort of background music. It's pretty, it's pretty innovative. And it's making me think about things in a different way. It's definitely a solution for me when it comes to, um, when it comes to production and coming up with ideas in a door, like logic. I'm daydreaming now, I'm daydreaming. For a MIDI instrument, it's pretty, pretty switched on in terms of like, um, touch and feel. Like it feels like a guitar, that's the confusing thing. And then it produces these sorts of noises. Maybe you would be an electronic producer or some kind of producer where you're using software instruments and you're a guitarist predominantly. This is what you'd want. This is what I want. I just feel a little bit more fluent on the guitar than I would on the keyboard. So that's pretty great. You can be your own little one man band. And, um, you know, even just the little track I produced earlier, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have done that otherwise. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't have been quite as quick. And you know, it was really fun exploring all the software instruments, even though I've just got the basic software instruments on my laptop. So yeah, basically it's a solution for music production when you're not a keyboard player. I feel, I feel like I'm just gonna have this um, on my desk just to input things really quickly. That's just, that's a use for me. The other thing I really, really love is um, the different tunings on the app. That again, saves time and money because you can figure out what tuning might be best for a certain song before you go ahead and buy those gauges. It also means that you don't have to reset up your guitar each time. For the price, it's not outrageous for what it is. Very, very, very clever. A lot of fun as well. Really, really just depending on what you want to get out of your music. So if you're a guitarist and you just want to play guitar and you just want to record guitar, then don't buy this. Um, but if you're a producer and you are a guitarist, but you're looking to get into, you know, MIDI, software instruments, all that sort of stuff, then this is it. I don't know of anything else on the market that's quite like this. Would I suggest it as a practice tool? I'm not sure I would suggest it as a guitar practice tool. I think as a travel instrument, if you're writing on the go, then it'd definitely be useful. Like say, okay, I don't have perfect pitch. If I was writing a song and I didn't have a guitar with me, I would be able to find out the key and actually do some instrumentation using this whilst, whilst out on the road. The app's really easy to use, really, really clear, simple to download. The firmware is easy to update. If you are interested in Jammy, then check out the link in the description, find out more information there. They have incredible videos that show you very easily how to set it up. Um, or if you have any problems, they've got great customer service too. Thanks to the team there for getting in touch. And um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed already, give this video a thumbs up, comment below with your thoughts, and I'll see you very soon.